know that one of Canada's original Fathers of Confederation from 1867 lies buried here in Ross Bay Cemetery. This is his grave. His name is John Hamilton Gray. He's the only original Father of Confederation buried west of Ontario. He was born in Bermuda in 1812 of United Empire Loyalist stock, but he was educated in Halifax, studied law, and became a lawyer in St. John, New Brunswick, and then became involved in politics, and eventually became the premier of colonial New Brunswick in the 1860s. He was very much in favor of New Brunswick and the other maritime provinces joining together with what are now Ontario and Quebec, and attended the conferences in 1864 that led to the formation of Canada. By a strange coincidence, there was another man by the name of John Hamilton Gray who was also involved in this from Prince Edward Island. And there's a wonderful statue now in Charlottetown that shows the two men at the Charlottetown Conference of 1864. Confederation in 1867, July the 1st, is when Canada first came together. Gray was elected to the first Parliament of Canada in 1867, but in 1872 he did not run again. We had become part of Canada in 1871. Sir John A. Macdonald appointed Gray to the Supreme Court bench in British Columbia, and so he moved here and spent the rest of his days in Victoria, presiding over the Supreme Court in the old bird cages until the new one was built in 1889. That's the building until recently used as the Maritime Museum in Baston Square. Unfortunately, Gray lived only for a few more months, and he died in 1889 and was buried here in what is really a fairly plain grave at Ross Bay Cemetery, surrounded by some of those that he knew, Sir Matthew Bailey Begbie, Sir Henry Creese, not too far away, other justices of the Supreme Court at the time. The Historic Sites and Monuments Board of Canada has placed a very attractive small plaque here to tell us who he was and why he's such an important person in Canadian history. If you'd like to find out more about this and many other stories of Victoria history, Join me and my other guides on a tour. Check us out at www.discoverthepast.com.